Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we've got delivery day and I've spent quite a bit of money today so we've got a big order coming so uh, we're going to go around and go do stuff for the animals I've got a surprise for you, we had a surprise arrival yesterday we've got two little animals which are going to be a breeding project for us so we've got a new breeding project started So, um, but it's for the reptiles not for fish so, so we, we don't do many breeding projects for the reptiles but we're going to start a couple now I've got the bug since we've had the uh, the crocodile skin kegs. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring that bell for me, and we'll crack on with the day. Okay, dokie then. So I'll show you our newest newest arrivals of uh, snake oil exotics. So they're down here. They are. So we've had a little bit of a move around because one, I couldn't fit the tank in. Two, we needed more storage. So it is a little bit higgledy piggledy, but it's working at the moment, and eventually. It's having a complete revamp in here. So, na 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 na! We have an adult pair of tortoises. Hello, everybody! How are we today? Got to new UV lights on, haven't we? Hello! How are you, buddy? You're lovely and warm. Oh, you can't go in there, though. You can't go in there, it's too small. Let's go in that one. There you go, you go hide in there. Let's have a look at you, darling. Hello, my lovely! Hello! So, there. Horse field tortoises, they are. So we've got them all set up, ready to go. We've just got to turn their lights on, but they've been doing really well. They've had one clutch of eggs before, so we're just going to be hoping that eventually, female wax out a couple more eggs for us. They they haven't had any successfully hatch yet, um, but they're having a little madden. I don't think they've been handled very much, so we'll uh, we'll shut the door on them. We we'll let them chill out, but hopefully we'll have baby tortoises soon. The horse fields would be amazing, but I'll show you what I've done. Remember the black shelving we had over there, and we made the, the new wooden shelving. I've just put it there, so we've got some shelving to use. It's literally all I've done, and move some stuff around. That's literally it. And the shelving we had down there is now stacked up there, so I couldn't move it. So that's got to go soon because we need access to the chameleon, and it's covering the chameleon at the moment. Still got to go around. We've got to turn more lights on. We've got to turn the foggers on. Uh, so we crack on, have a good day, and I'll get all the lights on, we can have a good, good day. We also had some other bits and bobs come with it as well, so I've got a nice little incubator, so we can set that up for the shop, ready for anything else that lays any eggs. Um, I have thought about trying to get to the crocodile skin keg, but I think it's incubating nice as it is, I think we'll let it ride as long as nothing else happens, it should be fine. Uh, but anything else starts laying eggs. For heart, we can wax straight in the incubator and we'll be raring to go. It's 12 o'clock, still no order, just waiting for it to arrive, and then as soon as it arrives, we can unbox it all and crack on with the day. Now, quarter to one, still no delivery. I'm gonna have to ring them in a sec and find out what's going on. It's, it's late, three weeks in a row now, so I'm not very happy at all. But it's gonna come, but it's just pain when it doesn't come on time. We have now been waiting so long for the order that I have aged about a hundred years while I've been waiting for their delivery to arrive. I don't know what's taking them so long, but I don't have much longer left. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm getting my order today. <laughs> no, I'm not getting the order today by the looks of it. Rang them up, they said they haven't shipped it, so... Not very good today, so we're not getting a delivery. So, bit of a pain in the bum. Um... So yeah, we'll have to crack on and think of something else to do for today. Oh well, that's a bit disappointing that delivery's not coming today. Um, they haven't even ran me back to tell me, really. So I'm a bit annoyed with them. Um, but we crack on, I've got to do some jobs today. I really have got to try and get some water changes done. Um, we've got to feed the chameleons. Um, no, Morgan did it yesterday, so we can't feed them today because it'd be too much. Um, we go around, we do some more jobs with them, maybe a little bit of training, a little bit of handling. Uh, and just see how we get on today. Change their tune again. Apparently, only one package isn't coming. The rest is all on its way. So I don't know what's turning up now. So we jump on. I'm going to do some water changes while we wait. And then, fingers crossed it comes. But it's been a really weird day today. I don't know if... They keep saying they have, they've sent it. Then they find out or they haven't sent it. Then they say, no, it's out for delivery. So... They're all over the place today, so I'm going to bosh out some water changes quickly and then we can crack on and do the unboxing if it comes. So 
Cue music, cue montage. Wahaha. More changes and the delivery has actually arrived. Finally, it is three hours late. Bad, bad delivery, man. So but that's what we got. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to do the frozen pretty quick because I'd be surprised if it's frozen, but we'll try and save it. Uh, but then we're gonna go through, open all the boxes. I am missing boxes as well. So we'll find out what's going on and we'll have a good day and we'll open them all now. I've topped those fish tanks back up. Okay, so I finally got all the more tank top, tank top filled up, so we can go back and open the box. Oh, we've been waiting so long for these boxes. We finally get the chance to open them and see what we might have inside. <laughs> Good old David Attenborough voice. I might do a video on do that one day. That might be funny. We can do a David Attenborough voice. What have we got in here then? Okay, a bit of live food. Wasn't expecting that, but we've got a bit of live food in there. Having me are. What do we have? Come on, do your job. Cut it. Just rip it instead. Okay. Waha, heat mats. Um, Undo toi. Catra. Free mats. I have a bag. So I'll open this and see what we've got inside. It's probably a stick. Feels like a stick. Opened it. It is a stick. It is a stick. It is a stick. Ooh. It's a very wibbly wobbly sticky. A little bit different. Our last big box. And then we've got all the live food to put away. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, let's see what we got in here. Ha! Aha. That probably was the hardest way to do it, but we did it. What's it? Come on. It's making me look silly now. Ah, there we go. Ooh. So we have F10, odor eliminator. Literally something can die in the tank and then that will get rid of the smell. Uh, we got fake plants. Do, 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 do. Okie dokie. We have something hidden away in here. We have vines. Small vines. Oh, ha, ha. Have gecko cave. Medium. You can go there, sir. Uh, what's we got in the paper? Ooh, corner bowl. If you're running out of space, that'll sit in the corner. Just lovely. Whoop. Then we have big hides. Oh, there's something in there. Little bowls inside the big hides. Let's put them there for a sec. These are the big, big, these are the biggest snake hides. After this, you're looking at the tortoise hides for snakes. These are the medium ones, not as big. I think we've got whoop, another medium, whoop. Uh, we've got tongs, lovely tongs. We've got the sprayer for the F10, that helps. Um, we have also got large vine, whoa ha ha. And we've got ceramic bulb holder, a little bit crushed. Uh, we've got bulbs. Ceramic bulb holder. We've got more bulbs all the way down there. Oh, what's we got here? These little tongs. Yes, little tongs, plastic tongs. Then we have, oh, what's in here? More bulbs. We have a thermostat. And then we've got two more at the back. 
Ah, calcium. And then we've got this one. More bulbs. And then we've got this little hidden box as well. Last box. So once we've finished doing the unboxings, we're going to tell you more about the breeding project with the tortoises, how they arrived, what was wrong, and what we're going to have to fix, and what we're going to improve in the long run. So, oh, this looks really cool. How do we get into it? Aha, there is the open. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Nice little hole, nice hole there for your lizard to climb in and out. Reptiles, reptile Yeah, that's quite a cool little thing. Nice and a bit different. We've got to go back, label, put out and sort out all that stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the new breeding project, the tortoises. So, when they came, the electrics couldn't be any more messed up. So everything was there that was needed, but was not set up right at all. So, for example, I'll, uh, I'll come down now and I'll show you. Duckly duckly. So, you can see we've got the UV light, we've got the heat bulb and all that stuff. So, normally your, your heat bulb is plugged into your thermostat and then your, your UV light's plugged into the wall or a wall timer that turns it on and off. Um, and then your probe is sat right there into the glow of the heat. So when this came to me, the UV light was plugged into the thermostat. So when you plug the thermostat in, the UV light came on. The probe, the probe was attached to the back of the tank. So like outside the tank on the back, which is completely wrong. because It's got to be inside the tank. So. I don't know how that got confused or lost in translation, but that was that was clips literally pinned to the outside of the tank. So I've had to bring it inside the tank where it's meant to be. I've had to change how the, the wire in. So the heat bulb is now plugged into the thermostat. The UV bulb is now plugged into the wall and everything's doing a lot better now. All the electrics are working as they should, which is best case scenario. So they were on wood chip. I'm an advocate for having them on their normal natural substrate, as natural as possible. So we use the tortoise life, especially as we're going to be hoping they do breeding. We can always add a nice thick layer of it and should be able to burrow and lay our eggs. And then that gives us an area then we can pull back and transfer the eggs into nest boxes and put it into the incubator. So uh, we'll have a good look at them, see how they're getting on and I'll tell you their names. We might be renaming them on the YouTube because I'm not, well, the name is Tank and Frank, I think, or something like that. So we're going to rename them. I believe the Geely is the biggest one, I believe, but I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what they said. We'd have to double check. So let's have a little looky. Oh, that could be the boy, and this could be the Geely. Oh, I'd have to double check. We'll double check. We'll have a proper look another day. But we've got a nice little one here. How you doing, sir? We'll have a proper look and we'll sex you in a bit, eh? How's that sound, eh? So with the, with the, with the shell, a lot of people don't realise that they can feel through the shell. So if you rub your nail, and you can feel yourself rubbing that nail, that's exactly what they feel. Yeah, so when you hear of people drilling the shell and putting like loops in there so they can tie them to stuff, that is a complete no-no. This is actually their rib cage. So this is like, obviously the, you got the, this would be like the back of their ribs. So the ribs would be like our ribs are underneath where their ribs are, but this is actually, so for example, that's what it looks like on the inside. They've got bones coming around the shell and it's part of their actual body. It's not like they've got a shell and their body's inside. Their bones and that are linked into this cave, this concaved shape. So. You don't want to do any drilling, anything like that, because it's very, very bad for them. But these ones do look okay for so far. Does look like we need to do a little bit of a nail clipping. Because they're just having... You okay, mate? You okay? We're having a little look. The beaks don't look too bad. Don't look too bad at all. Um, it's just the big one. If you move you out the way, sir. The big one here has got quite long feet. And they're all twisted and 
yeah so that's not good see how they're really long yeah that's no good way too long they are so we'll cut them right down so she can actually use her feet and then um, we'll be a lot better then and then we'll build them a little nest box area so they can go in they can nest they do love the cave they're always in the cave so uh, but I think this will be it's about Oh, it's about an inch deep in places, but some ways it's a little bit shallower where they've been. Uh, but we'd probably do a two to three inch deep area where she can actually burrow and do her own little nest box. But I think it's going to be a great little project for us. And then we'll have some Snake Island exotics, tortoises, horse fields ready to go. So we've definitely got a male and a female because they've laid eggs for us. They've laid eggs for the lady before, um, but the, she never had any luck with them. But fingers crossed, we'll have some better luck this time because it'll be their second clutch of eggs so we might get some good ones out of it but they seem to be doing really well little one's gone in the cave big mama's outside chilling if we do get any baby tortoises or eggs this is what we're going to be using the nursery two i don't think you can buy these ones anymore brand new because i don't think lucky reptiles continued making them uh, i do know that um exo terror have taken on this design so you can get this design from exo terror uh, in my opinion, this is probably, it's the nicest looking one, but it's probably second best. There's another one that ZooMed make, I'll put a picture of it now, and this one has humidity control and stuff like that. This one just does the thermometers for you, just does the temperature. So this bad boy here, we'll get it out and we'll have a good little look at it. It's got a digital readout and it's got shelves and stuff. So we'll get it all out, we'll have a little look and see how we're going to get out. So. Oh, oh, oh. Okie dokie then. Let's put it on the shelf. Here we go. I plugged it all in so we can get an idea what it looks like. Uh, so you've got a nice little handle here that opens it all up. You've got a shelf which is movable. And it's all nice and everything pulls out so you can get it nice and clean. Because you don't want any mould or anything like that in there because that's going to damage the eggs and eventually make the eggs go mouldy. So having this extremely clean is quite important. So you've got a nice shelf, you've got should be a little fan in there that blows the air around. And then we set the temperatures. You've got to make sure that door locks. You've got to open the handle to lock it to make sure it shuts. Um, got the on and off button. We've got the up and down of temperature. So it's on 32 at the moment. We press down 31, 32, and so on and so forth. And then this one turns on the light inside. See, we've got a nice light. Off, on, off. So it's a good little bit of kit. It should work well. The one I had originally was the Exoterra one. And I had problems with it. Um, it didn't want to get up to the temperature I wanted it to. And it would, if I set it to something, sometimes it would change the setting I'd set it to. Um, but we're going to try this one, see how we get on. Uh, it's a different one than I've ever had before. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed we'll be raring to go. As soon as we get some eggies, I'll let you know and we can whack them in there. Okay then everybody, my friend, that's all the time I've got for today. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to join the channel, there's a link in the description below. It helps support me, the animals, and all this stuff. Because it's getting expensive to making the videos. I've got to buy a new camera soon. So it all helps me in the long run. Um, and if you uh, want to see where I get my animals from and want to see if there's anything you might want to order, there's also links in the description for that as well. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.